Thank you so much, Ty. Well, it is a time for athletes with disabilities to shine. The Paralympic Games bring together the best in their sport. Dr. Sarah Adam is projected to become the first woman to compete for a USA wheelchair rugby team. She's also an assistant professor of occupational science and therapy at St. Louis University. Dr. Adam, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about your journey. When did all this start? I uh, started when I was actually an occupational therapy student at WashU. Okay. Um, really loved sports and wanted to kind of combine my love of sports and occupational therapy and found wheelchair rugby and loved it ever since. Yeah, what do you love so much about it? I think I love the full contact of it. Yeah. Um, I like that we're breaking down stereotypes, showing people that people with disabilities aren't fragile, um, mm -hmm. that we have a route to be competitive and enjoy sport and enjoy life. Yeah, are you noticing more that, that it is getting more attention than it used to? It is, I think there's a lot more work to be done, but we're seeing yeah. people with disabilities being uh, integrated and highlighted in things like advertising and broadcasts and um, talk shows and interviews and, and being seen and having a chance to tell our stories, which is really powerful powerful and important. You know, we talk about kids with disabilities that are growing up. They now have heroes that they can look up to and mentors who look like them and have lives like them. It's exciting. Yeah, absolutely. So you were just at some training. Tell us what that's like. Yeah, uh, we only have a couple times that we get together as a full team. We're scattered okay. kind of across the nation. So a lot of our training happens individually, whether getting in the gym or watching film. Um, you know, dialing in our nutrition. So when we get together as a team, it's really exciting opportunity to build our chemistry and work towards our goal of gold in, the, in Paris. Yeah, so when do you find out if you made the team or not? So we're not too sure. There's a lot okay. of anticipation on that <laughs> one. Um, a lot of healthy competition within the 16 athletes right now to be one of the 12 named to go to Paris and really excited to hear that team being named. So there's 16 and they're gonna reduce it to 12? Yeah, four stay oh, wow. behind. They're the <laughs> alternates, um, a tough position to be in, but um, really excited for whoever those 12 are that get to uh, represent our country. Okay, so as an alternate, would they get to go? No, no. unfortunately not, no. Okay. <laughs> Tell us when it is. Um, so the Paralympics uh, with wheelchair rugby, it's full contact sport, four on four on a, on a basketball court, um, drawing from a bunch of different uh, sports like basketball and football. And honestly, not as much from the able body rugby as you would yeah. think, um, but an exciting, exciting sport to watch. Um, love being part of the, the Paralympics right alongside the Olympic athletes. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Do you think doing this will encourage more, more women to get involved in it? I'm hoping. Right now it's co-ed, it's predominantly male, yeah. um, but I think there's awesome opportunities and we're seeing females in sport that, that just decide this is a sport I want to play, whether right. it was typically seen of as a male sport mm -hmm. or not. Um, you know, We're finding our place within that and, and growing the, the female sport movement, which is exciting to be a part of. Absolutely. Well, you're certainly an inspiration. You have to let us know what happens. Will yeah. you do that for us? Yeah, I think stay okay. tuned. You know, uh, USAWR is our Instagram okay. uh, that you can follow and then obviously watching the Paralympics when it airs uh, in August. Well, I hope we see you in Paris. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Right, thank you so much. We're going to take a break. We'll be back.